Hey guys, what is going on? GT2King here back today with another video and I'm going to be showing you guys how binds work, how to set them up and how they help you in trading. So what binds basically are is where you could set a specific command to a specific key. So whenever you press that key, it'll execute that command. And this is useful in trading because you could set up multiple keys for multiple different chat messages. So you don't have to copy each chat message individually and you could just press the key and it'll send the message into the trade server. So what I'm going to be showing you guys today is a really simple method that I like to use and that's really more, it's more, not product, it's more efficient. So what you want to do is navigate to your TF2 directory. My, my, it's just the usual program files, Steam apps, common, TF2, TF, and CFG. You want to go into your config file or your config folder. And if you're on Mac, I don't know how this works, so you're probably going to have to look at your own, um, maybe look at a tutorial on that because I've never used a Mac, but what I've made is a trade.cfg file, and what this is, as you can see here, I have multiple keys binded to multiple different commands. So what these commands do, all of the keys are around the, like, the normal placement of my fingers, so I could just easily press on each key. And all of these have like a different um, champ, so everything has like a different message and you can advertise more things this way. Now I have around 8 ch uh, chat binds and how you can activate this is obviously you have to have your trade.cfg in your original directory. And then what you want to do is open up TF2. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to tell you guys about some efficiency ways on this. Now, if you want to auto press keys, because you have to actually manually press the keys for this to work, you could install a program that auto automatically presses keyboard keys, which I've never used before, but I'm sure it's possible because it's basically just like a macro where you could just press keys. So if you have keys assigned to a specific command, you could just get a program that auto presses those keys and it'll execute the command while you're in the trade server and you don't even have to be there. Or you could be like on another computer and just waiting for a trade to come. So what we can do from here is, let's say we open up our console, which is how we're going to be doing this. Our current bind for R is the trade.cfg one, which is buying any item for from TF2, etc. So what we could do now to get the default one, we could just type execute configs underscore default, and it will do that. So if we type bind R, it should be the reload function. So if you're done with trading for the day or you want to play some casual, you could just run this command. So there is a plane passing by forgive me on that but what we could do now is execute the trade.cfg so you don't even need to put cfg and as you can see the bind r is buying anything for pure okay so i think i actually updated my trade.cfg so let's see what r is okay so r as you could see is say, buying anything for pure trade me so it works perfectly if you want to play some casual again you could just type buy or no execute config default or if you go and now if you go into like a trade server which i could show i don't think it's necessary but you could just go into a trade server and i'm just gonna execute our trade config you could just type bind or you could just press r and it'll execute this command in the chat r is just bind r it just says what it does so that's how i'm just showing it in the config but that was basically it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy if i did help you let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.